call meeting to order. Any public comment? That's a no negative. <laughs> um, okay, so we were just gonna start with a, just, just a recap of the dinner with the Board of Trustees, kind of go around. Were you guys not even there? I was even sick. There? Oh yeah. I was there. Oh, those, oh, here they come. It's just Lincoln. Yeah. <clears throat> Um, just, uh, did you guys think it was successful? Were you expecting more, um, more from the meeting, you know, going forward? Is there, uh, do we have different expectations or do you feel like anything that we mentioned, um, was, do you feel like we were heard? Recapping, what is your opinion on the dinner with the town? I think it felt board? a little rushed. Yeah, you know, and how felt kind of formal, like, okay, we're going to stay on, you know, everybody has a schedule, but it just felt like could have maybe had a more productive discussion if it was a little longer. There's more chance to just kind of, just for every, you know, I, I felt like it was like, okay, well, let's move on to the next thing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I missed the first part, so I missed a lot of the discussion on the community center, but it was a, it was a pretty dense uh, topic to kick off with. For sure. Um, who else was here? Marcia? Um, yeah. Um, one of the compliments, <coughs> excuse me, comments by the mayor worried me just a little bit after he made it, and that was that um, I was one of those, and there were several others that were putting forth the point, the two points. One about designing a classroom that's only eight feet wide, and the second one was not having a library. <coughs> And after a few people voiced that, I noticed that the, I mean, I think right after I spoke perhaps, the mayor looked at me and said something like, well, I'm getting the impression from this meeting that you differ from the support that CAPS um, had for this project as of the last meeting, something like that. And so <clears throat> that has worried me a little bit since then that he thought, or got the impression that perhaps this redesign, which really wasn't any kind of an improvement, I didn't think, and I, it seemed to be kind of the sixth consensus, was... With um, our approval in some way? Yeah, it yeah. was, there was yeah. a considerable yeah. amount of tension right. over right. that. So that concerned me a little bit, that perhaps the uh, town was really looking for rubber stamp going forward and let's concentrate on advertising for the election in the fall and you know like you said rushing things a little rushed yeah i mean i am encouraged though like there are more community meetings so it's not that's not the final design right that was presented so it's still open for discussion i filled out the survey you know that's on the website so it sounds like there's still discussion going on it's not like everything's been decided and there's a, uh, a split on the board oh well, there is which assures there will be plenty of discussion more discussion <laughs> yeah <laughs> well it's interesting because maybe what we should do is email everybody we know the survey so that they can take the survey so you know email them to know. take it and then ask them to send it on to their t friends and their yeah, friends right. and their friends because there hasn't really been a lot of i've told people in my neighborhood and they're like oh where's the survey Mm -hmm. So there really hasn't so been a lot of promotion of not involved. the survey. Even people who would tend to be listening and involved. Has, uh, I haven't, I admit I haven't been keeping up on the town newsletters, but did it, was it in one of the newsletters? It probably, okay, probably so was, and there were obviously signs. Obviously other people were not signs in the keeping. neighborhood, right? I mean, there, <laughs> there were signs, oh, maybe just no, not for, I don't, I, I didn't think stay for the that discussion the that evening, actually at the uh, trustees meeting. What happened there with regard to this? Oh, uh, I don't know. A Monday night meeting. Oh, did I you listened. End up going? I listened. What did happen? We just talked about it. Yeah, there was a uh, pretty pretty um, lengthy discussion. Uh, pretty intensive discussion. And if you go back and watch it at the okay. end of that meeting, you'll see that uh, there is a split and uh, a lot of support for the idea of making it some more community center yeah. focused. Um, so, but it's very important that people get out there and attend these meetings, make their comments known, et cetera, et cetera. More public participation, the better. Is there Always. some way that we can 
more efficiently do that? I mean, we can email the survey or the link to the link to the survey to everybody we know and ask them to send it on to everybody they know. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, attend um, all the community meetings on it. Uh, the community meetings will be different one from the other. I had dinner, a uh, lunch with the manager, town manager, and I registered some disapproval of the way in which this went forth because that was the old plan you saw, mm -hmm. right? And uh, I was assured that a plan that, that uh, reflects pro stacking caps and the boards uh, conversation will come at the second meeting that they didn't have enough time to show well, that. Do you, mean, do you mean the second, second open engagement house? meeting? Yeah, second that open house. Well, but that's those of us who went to the first one and yeah. did our little sticky notes and stuff like that. They're unlikely to come back to another meeting because they would assume right. we that they came to the to first the word one and they did all the little sticky yeah. notes. And I'll put down that on, on on subsequent meetings. We need to say different plans are being presented. So please come. To when will the next the, meeting be? What, July 16th. Uh, we'll be here. But that's going to really throw things off if we saw the plans. That were not the basically the I agree. Ones. Ones. Yeah. Deb, but I can't pull it back. That's part of the discussion oh, okay. I had. I personally thought it would have been wise to cancel the meeting until the new plans came, uh, the amended plans came out and reschedule uh, because it does confuse. But to like Because most people who would be the most interested probably came to the first one. Mm -hmm. Right. Would be my guess. Well, hopefully there's more interest because there were only 25 community right. people yeah. at that meeting. If although you, I, if you took the board members, although fair amount of people didn't sign up, we didn't see the sign up list. Does this committee have like a consensus or on or like a statement or something? Because my feeling was that there were different opinions within the committee on what you know. I think that goes back to what Marcia was saying. I think when we felt rushed to present our uh, opinions, mm -hmm, yeah. we made it very clear that, um, uh, you know, based on the survey from 2014, uh, we don't want to be thrown in with the rec component. You know, that we want a separate building. I think the town talked about a separate building, you know, the 2016 or something. and. Um, that's what everybody really wants. And so I thought we had made that clear, okay. um, not clear enough maybe. Mm -hmm. um, so we were just trying to put Band-Aids on what was presented. And is there a, a process, and it may be one of the things at least I felt a little bit aware of during the dinner with the trustees, is because it's so tight and it's only an hour, I thought it was actually an hour and a half, but if it's only an hour, maybe there's a really tight structure that at least I was not aware of that we would have, we really would have presented bing, 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 bing. And this type of thing, yeah. it kind of, it yeah. was rather kind of haphazard that they basically started with, so what do you think about the community center, rec center kind of thing, rather than this is what the CAPS committee is doing and have been organized in trying to um, just basically communicate what we've been doing. I have to tell you, yeah. Um, you saw me trying to keep it on, <laughs> yeah, uh, on task, precisely for this reason. And so now you know, right now I know that it tends to be a loosey goosey sort of structure, and you need to take charge as a committee of making sure all the points you want to make, you make. There, leave the extended conversation mm -hmm. towards the end mm -hmm. in case you run out of time. And this is your opportunity to, to make your points and. Uh, my strategy whenever I'm in a meeting is to make sure I know what I want to accomplish in that meeting and you know so um, because different people who run meetings have different ways of running them right so but you need to always know your goals yeah I think that was when Daryl and I talked I think that was one of our concerns is that we really wanted the attention of the board to go over what we we know kind of our mission and um, just to get feedback and input on some of the things that we're working on you know what do you think do you have any opinions and we didn't get 
Um, except for Kevin's great idea about um, the interaction Artists with Dow, with the, uh, yeah, which we'll get to. Um, I, I, I kind of left feeling a little defeated, you know, um, instead of um, energized and inspired by. Well, next time, I think next time we'll know, too, yeah. that not allow it to be hijacked with the community center, which really is not what the CAPS committee right. does. Mm -hmm. Right. We might have thoughts on it, but really more presenting in a super organized, right. tight, document everything we're doing kind of thing, and present it to them in a way that we're li literally selling what we're doing to them. Yeah. And documenting. On your it, agenda. We'll why, know that why, next time. Yeah, make your agenda, but also have your summary, two sentences of summary under each agenda item. So that, and have your summary in, same as journalist, inverted pyramid. Top, most important at the top, mm -hmm. goes down to the least important. How often you know, do we get these dinners? Only once. They're only a once year. a year, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. So for next year. Yeah, right. But it, for it's also yeah. it's a very good strategy. You know, oh. we're going to be going into budget setting for 2019, and your um, your annual work plan. Right. The same thing on your annual work plan. Um, focus on the most important accomplishments you want to achieve in the yeah, next year. because we had to skip over the arts district and if we, in our master plan, you know, we'll talk about it, but I think that is probably one of the biggest components and um, that's kind of number one. And I, I have one to say, I'm going to share an observation. I think you would benefit from having richer agendas. For example, this never says anything explicitly about Dow that I'm seeing about the idea about a, a, a evening with the artist. Well, who puts the agenda together? The chair and, and uh, Katie. And care needs to be taken. Oh, I, I agree. To have a solid agenda. That's you guys true. only meet once a month, and this is really the thing that keeps you constantly moving forward, right? Oh. So a, a rich agenda is, is very important to capture all those things you are working on. Um, also, this is your history. You know, this is kept in the archives, et cetera, et cetera. So, when I saw Dow not mentioned here, I thought, wow, that's a. Oh, that's yeah. Because that's kind of included in yeah. this discussion, but you're right. It probably should well, have like an under. Didn't we talk about a format? Yeah, so we're still going to talk about that. So, when we're, so, within this number three item, when we're reviewing the dinner, within that dinner, we did talk about Dow. So, we just went through the community center. Now, we're going to talk about their reaction to the Arts District, and then we'll talk about Dow, and then we'll move on to number four, which is more detail. So we're going to hit we're gonna hit Dow, but you're right, I think we should definitely enumerate Excuse me, it. but can I, before we abandon the community center topic, okay. I have a clarification, something that you said um, I'm not understanding correctly. Um, I was there for that whole meeting, and I think my impression when it was nearing the end, and um, Daryl was summing things up was that we need to carve out our space right up front, some cultural art space right up front um, for activities and performances and stuff like that, even if it's a tiny space, because we can't guarantee that there's going to be another building in another location for, you know, good many years down the line. And it's much easier to actually get a building down the line start out with some space secured so are we are we not talking about I mean uh, as this thing goes forward are we dropping the idea of having any cultural space in that building that's probably going to be built over there are we abandoning that in favor of uh, I didn't think so. No, 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 no. I, I think when we were just, when we first room. came up with our gut reaction and we had to come up, we said, you know, this is the first any of us had ever heard of it, right? And so we were like, ideally, we'd prefer our own building. This is not something any of us have discussed. This is not a major agenda for CAPS at all, planning a new community center. So I think we're still just reacting. Okay. So I, I thought some there possibilities was within an interest in keeping involved with the process. Here is yeah, yeah. over there, and I th heard a really intriguing suggestion too, and that was maybe they should just leave the whole third floor without walls for now. Plan this, this is going to go, and leave the whole third floor 
up to future configuration. Um, here's goes to the agenda, and uh, frankly, it doesn't gnaw on me either. But the board, when they asked for CAP's opinion, didn't say only discuss it last month. So there could be on your agenda this month continuing discussion. There could be on your agenda next month continuing discussion to where you continue to discuss this and you continue to feed the board recommendations now that you've had more time okay. to think about it. Um, so what I'm okay. saying is these agendas really need to be well considered to achieve all the things you guys want to achieve. I mean, you've got a lot of big items, mm -hmm. you know, in front of you. And using, so, and the best way is always look at the last agenda and make sure it's either completely done and doesn't need to be followed up or you have a conversation of whether or not it should be on here. So, you have time. This hasn't been decided. Caps, in my opinion, speaking as Sandy, still has time uh, to weigh in on these matters. Okay. So, and first of all, we need, and I'm not taking notes, but we, I, I do agree with the whole agenda mm -hmm. that we really, and then when we have that meeting with the board or if some topic comes up like the community center, we need to have a really concise message to the board and the community that this is what we think or what we've agreed on. And a part of that, I think we, I think it would be helpful if we met more than once a month. Because I kind of get the feeling that we're only meeting once a month and it's just rushed in two hours. And maybe there are really more things like the arts district or whatever it might be that we can communicate in another meeting that um, is not under those legal guidelines. I have no idea what it is. But even with like the murals, well, we can, we can tell people about the murals and get it tightened up and the, and the work structure that we don't need this meeting to do that. A working meeting. Yeah, a working like a work meeting. Session. Work exactly. session. As opposed to Without an official being, meeting. Uh, exactly. Yeah. Without so we're, we're wasting, I always almost feel like we're wasting our time here, not really discussing what we want to do and where we're going and the direction and, the, and really the structure of our committee. This kind of thing can be in a work session. Yeah, or I through agree email with you. or. What uh, was the actual goal of our meeting with the with the board, I mean, what what does that, from their point of view, what what were we were we updating them? Were we presenting something to them? Were we asking for something for them? All of the above. I think so. That yeah. so it, there yeah. was really a, it was like an open forum exchange of ideas. Well, it shouldn't be open because it well, should be driven by well, the agenda, right? So that we you, should, you did that talk one. prior to it at a meeting or two about yeah. what you wanted to address with the board, and that's where the whole thing of cultural arts district came up with. It came up, and that was seeking the board's permission, if you will, to uh, focus, you know, to take that on as a task. I think it may be mentioned in the official uh, 2018 work plan, but that was a good conversation. That was a meaningful conversation. It's also for you to apprise the board of where you are on projects and all that kind of stuff, yeah. and and uh, uh, for the board to feed back to you what's important to uh, what you should have heard, and I don't want to, um, what you should have heard, I believe, was there's a lot of enthusiasm and support on the board for this committee. Um, so, okay, so, okay, I'm glad okay. you said that, I'm going to, because, um, well, I, we did have a lot of agenda items to get to during the dinner, but it was hijacked by this the community meeting, which and and we haven't even had a chance, like you said, at one meeting um, a month. We don't know what our role is, you know, for the community center, um, and and what the board expects our role to be. So yeah. we have. I do. I mean, okay. I can always clarify that for you, yeah. um, but um, uh, one, it's a privilege to have been asked to weigh in. So that's recognition, that its committee should have an opinion on that, right? So your opinion was sought out by the board. The board doesn't want to spoon feed you by say, you know, by basically telling you what you're supposed to say back to us, mm -hmm. right? It really was a request from both <coughs> POSTAC and CAPS to uh, 
address their areas of expertise. Postax more rec oriented, right? Mm -hmm. and, well, Postax rec and community center oriented, whereas yours is less that recreational component and more that community and cultural component, right? So uh, you were asked to weigh in on anything that was significant in your opinion on the community, cultural aspects, use of space aspects. The conversation is is more open in this particular facility because there is that confusion mm -hmm. about are we going to have a separate standalone community center down the road as Marcia referenced. That's why I actually I said at this meeting, why don't we make it all a community center? Mm -hmm. And then when we get a community center, some of this can switch over to fitness and rec and all that kind of stuff. And that idea didn't, didn't come lightly. It's like, we're not missing workout places right now in this town, are mm -hmm. we? Uh, you can go work out all over the place, right? But we are missing rec and cultural components in this town. Now, I don't know that there's a chance anybody would do that, but really, isn't it an interesting starting point to say, why not? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, why not? Well, it's interesting what, what I'm hearing and talking to the moms at the pools and, you know, wherever, book groups and this kind of stuff, that, and, and did you guys see, and, and Patrick had it, it was in a work session, that they actually paid a consultant to do a community center concept that would happen somewhere on Main Street. It is the most amazing thing you have ever seen, first of all, and, and my concern, I mean. You mean the towns? The town when they paid the well, it it, but, it was also the Richmond 15 and it right it well no that it said on Main Street yeah yeah okay. well it's been more so new there. Main Street up here uh huh downtown and I can forward it on to you because Daryl forwarded it on to me but anyway um but along with that that maybe our committee needs to kind of think about that you're probably getting the emails that tomorrow night there is a group a foundation that wants to start a charter school on the Richmond 15, which if that happens, it will take away the only piece of land in Superior. I have no idea where the Richmond 15 no, is. No, Mr. Colton and McCaslin, right across from the trail bed. That oh, empty that spot across right there. Colton and McCaslin, oh, oh, okay. across yeah, from okay. the trail head, across from the Calumet. charter school would take that empty space oh, okay. there. Because they were space. first thinking no, Discovery and it would be Park. Like an well, I would one, not get too uh, focused. School, it was a little premature. Uh, to to have all the references to Town 15. The focus at this point, if you attend those meetings, hopefully will be more on the concept of does the town of Superior wish to have this particular charter high school considered oh. for us, right? And then it's also an, it's an innovation and incubator campus yeah. as well. Yeah. So the question is, let you, you, I've gotten in a lot of calls about this. Let's focus on the idea. And then if the idea has merit, let's focus on is there a place in town to put it that we're willing to. The idea being yeah. an art center. Yeah. And I would art, encourage no, people it's, to it's come to this meeting. It's not an art center. It's, it's, a, it's a high school. school. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Okay. It's a, a, oh, uh, yeah. it's a yeah. charter. I can tell you all about it if you want to know. Well, yeah, because we yeah, have the we school board. Yeah. yeah, but that's not what we need. Yeah, yeah. 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 so actually, OK, so yeah. we were, uh, number one, we were reviewing what we discussed with the board. So number one was a community center. Number two was a brief overview of uh, our idea for an arts district, um, which we'll go into more discussion at the next number, but um, very positive, I yeah, think, I um, really input and reaction. Um, what did you guys think? Yeah, I was excited. I like it. Everybody seemed and to like the board was enthusiastic. Yeah, because yeah. 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 that's going to be the biggest negative. thing that we've done so far. I yeah. Mean, yeah. I mean, that's going to make a huge impact. Yeah, so that was very encouraging. Um, and so I think with that feedback, we're completely going forward. Um, I think that's the area that I'm going to concentrate on with my, some of you are going to be on my team. Yeah, um, yeah uh, because I think that needs to be, well, we'll talk about that. Okay, so did, um, okay, so the Arts District, you, you had a positive feeling about that as well? Oh, yeah, yeah, it was, it seemed to have caught them off guard a little bit. 
that we were thinking so progressively. <laughs> uh, but I think that was more of what we were expecting from the dinner, right? Like, like here's an idea, what do you think? And yeah. then they thought, oh, and then there was some give and take, you know? Yeah. So I, th I thought that was an exciting part of the... Mm -hmm. One of the things that we talked about was maybe having it come through original town, old Oh, yeah, town, hold that called. thought because the next um, item number, number four, is all about that. Oh, okay. okay so I'm just, mm -hmm. we're still just reviewing the dinner. So, oh, okay. okay. And then the third part of the dinner, briefly, we talked about Dow. Mm -hmm. I liked Kevin's suggestion yeah. of um, having Dow interact um, or engaging uh, the adults and the kids. Um, so do you guys have any ideas? When would you that? think that would be appropriate to start? Um, in the fall, I mean, you know, beginning, I think we could schedule, you know, an opportunity for him to talk about what he is going to do, although it's out there, and then just schedule an evening with the artist or having, an, as we talked about, meeting in the, you know, the elementary schools. But I guess I'm thinking we should kind of have a roadmap of, you know, at pivotal points in the actual structure. Like how many evenings? Do Is we this do? one of our subcommittee, you know, team projects? Because I feel like it so needs it. Well, needs that's sort really of what I'm it. thinking. Yeah, because it could be a fair amount of work. For yeah. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. To it should be. It events. would be have to be coordinated with him. I would imagine. Well, he mentioned November. Remember? Yeah, and I know um, Trustee Ryan mentioned uh, Chili Fest, and he is not in here for Chili Fest. He couldn't make it back for that weekend. Oh, so you already asked him. I did ask him. What is the time uh, that when he's going to deliver it like april april yeah so it has april. to be when he has something yeah, to show but before yeah. he gets too far right and so that if they if we are able to establish some sort of relationship with the schools and their uh and the, the teacher is teaching about process maybe and then they can check back in with him um i think if you give him a couple of months notice like we're thinking this month, when do you think you could be here? Thinking this month, when do you think that, that's good enough for him? So do you think he has to come for each time, or maybe he just comes once when he has something to show, and then he can Skype or sort do a, a video? Point or, or a two-thirds yeah. point yeah. or something like that. Um, but I like what somebody said. That's the purpose of subgroups. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I think you're all feeling frustrated. So many great ideas, but not enough time, right? So, uh, and, and this idea of work sessions is interesting. We'll have to, uh, I'll talk to the board about that. I can't imagine discouraging more frequent meetings, but meetings do have to be noticed. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, this actually may involve a, a change to the resolution in enabling the CAPS group, but so what? I mean, the fact is, if there's a group of active citizens who wants to be even more active, uh, I can't imagine that we won't make that work mm -hmm. uh, some way. Um, so, uh, of course, the purpose of the subgroups, you understand, is that those subgroups can be working whenever those subgroups want to work. So if you have a subgroup on Dow, evening with the artist and the daily daytime meetings with the school kids, that group can work. And then does that meeting have to be noticed? Um, if I have more put than this two question people? through to the town. I believe the practice has been uh, no, if it's a small subgroup. Uh, but I've got that question in right now. Because for um, you all, isn't it that's probably the same rule as for the board? You can have two but not three without right. noticing it. Right. Two yeah. meetings or two people? Two people. Two people, say, on town council or a board okay. or city councils can meet. But if three people meet, right. it has to be noticed. So, so right. like if Jan and I are meeting Saturday morning, um, going okay, okay. Should should they have to put publish find. notice the that the meeting is, is happening. Have two more people. people. Wherever the town okay. publishes um, it. Here's the, the deal. The if you have more than two yeah, people, to me, it's always smart as I can to uh, host, uh, call Katie and Katie Forsyth. Saying this, be such and such thing. I remember the how we did that was we had 
a ton of extra meetings, but we invited everybody. Yeah. So we, did we noted so it when we had all those meetings? I believe so, okay. yeah. Yeah, yeah, we, we did. did. All right. Yeah, yeah. And it, it, but yeah. we invited it's everybody. Always, but anyway, we're, 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 we didn't want to uh, waste valuable time, but we just got to make sure the I's are dotted and T's crossed. But um, um, because philosophic, I think one of the ideas is that if you have the subgroups, you have the cultural, cultural arts group pulling this off of Daryl. You have Jane and I, if we were taking over the murals, for instance, and if you have the artist registry, I mean, all, you have these meetings yeah. well, to take that pressure him. off of her to accomplish things mm -hmm. rather than trying to do it as a bulky group of eight. We should report, I believe, maybe at these at these meetings, report, each of these yes. subgroups are reporting. That's what this is progress. supposed to be. Well, yeah, we'll even have updates on assigned projects. Yeah. So you're set up for this. I mean, we've had this discussion since day one, right? Um, I think it's just a case. So you're going to tighten it up and let us know yeah. so that if there are six of us that are at my house and we're doing something for this. But still, there's no delay. And if you just said you want, you're going to do the cultural arts district, presumably with somebody else, you know, helping you. And you're going to do the mural. So somebody needs to take note of that. and. Then you follow up every meeting, say your progress, and then you ask the rest of the group and the rest of the community for help, mm -hmm. right? It doesn't and have does to just be to caps painting these squares. Mm -hmm. Right. You could have Katie put a notice out to the community that caps needs help on Saturday there morning. You there all you in go. Debbie's you just house. Made that very oh, easy. All in my all garage. Good. So, so for communication. So if the mural committee, for instance, says, "Okay, we're meeting." next Thursday night because we need to do this. So I send an email to Daryl, Daryl sends an email to Katie because we're not supposed to communicate right. with Katie. <laughs> Katie, okay, Katie is copy, ultimately in charge allowed to copy Are we allowed to copy Katie, Katie? On, the, on communication with Daryl? And, and, and I'll confirm to you when I need to post and when I don't need to post. Right. A lot of times, as long as you're not working on making some sort of recommendation. Or policy. Yeah, or I think you're okay to just paint, we're okay to painting 40 white okay squares. Painting <laughs> but she's got to get that confirmed. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll yeah, talk through the okay. lawyer or through the uh, No, I'll just yeah. talk with that. We'll just meeting. get that confirmed yeah. by the next meeting. Yeah, okay. I mean, um, it's the same thing how you guys did all your, you know, the only one we really had to notice when you guys were doing the art meetings was the very last one where you were actually working mm. on your recommendation. Mm. Okay. Okay, the rest of them, we just we just made note. I and just kept track that you guys were meeting. Anybody in the community conceivably could attend if they wanted. Yes. Okay. Yes. Now painting squares or you know working on a plan for the art district, um, you know essentially you're going to make your, any recommendations at these meetings. Well, the other big one is I don't remember who's heading it up, is the um, I think that might be you. The arts plan. The yeah. master plan. The master plan. Mm -hmm. That's a that is That's a, a big one. That's like well, amazing. and there may be some meetings where, you know, you do need bigger space and we need to announce them and there may be meetings where you don't or you're mm -hmm. just researching and that kind of mm -hmm. stuff that I don't feel like you don't need to but I, I'll get clarification yeah, it's just the cultural yeah. um, so do you think but wait back to Dell um, do you think we should talk to him and see if he would be interested in making a little video of himself giving a tour of his yeah. progress and certificates sure, because I it, know it might be as easy as that. So park video of his studio. What does yeah, like to walk around. This is how I do it. This is what well, you know. And, I'll, and I'm gonna. He's gonna give me. You know, once I have actually a plan that I need you guys to look at and approve. Um, and once he, he'll give me bi-weekly updates. That's in the contract to give me bi-weekly updates. And those photos. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, I'll create a web page and photo gallery and that kind of stuff as the progress goes. That's kind of part okay. of the, the PR plan. So can there be a, a link to that in the newsletter that goes out? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Are we ready to move on to number two? No. Well, oh yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It sounds to me like we do need to come up with some type of unified opinion to present to the board on the community center since they asked, and I don't feel like we really have provided that. I would, I would agree with that. Yeah. I, I, I'm sorry, I was talking about this. <laughs> oh, <laughs> um, you know, since the board really asked for our opinion on this community center, I don't. I mean, I feel like we've discussed it, but we haven't really come up with one exactly. unified opinion to present. So it sounds like that's something that we should do. I, I, and I kind of would like a unified opinion or recommendation so that if 
Marcy is talking to somebody, then she can reference the ProStack and the CAFS committee is one of the things that we feel should be an addition for the community to consider is XYZ or whatever, whatever that might be. But I do think in terms of marketing it and getting it on a path, yeah, that's, I, I would agree with that. But you guys have a quorum tonight, so if you would like to make a formal recommendation to put into your notes, you may. You can sit and write it, and then you can all vote on it, and yay or nay, if that's what you would like to do. Except it's not on the agenda. Yeah. And no, no, I haven't seen the revised decision. We need to see that. Yeah, so I think we might have to come up with another working. Yeah, you can do it. Can we do a working session? We do. I think we need a working session. Yeah, with the goal of creating an opinion. Because we want the opinion to be really good, whatever, well written. Yeah. So that if. RC is talking to somebody, she can say, well, this is the opinion, the written opinion of the CAPS committee. Mm -hmm. This is the written opinion of ProStack, whatever that might be, so that we have it really yeah, articulate and tight to share. All right. The purpose of not noticing, the public has every right to know mm -hmm. what you're doing, mm -hmm. and they have every right to participate in it. So True. if you, mm -hmm. you notice on the agenda, uh, if you put it on the agenda, an interested party knows it's there, mm -hmm and they can come and comment, right? Right, okay. and you don't talk about do sense. stuff that's not on the agenda because then they don't get the opportunity. Right. Uh, it makes okay. total yeah. sense. I, I mean, I think that's powerful, actually. Yes, it is. I think we've been learning, you know? Yeah. You're quite honest. Yes, yeah. Yeah. I know. I mean, yeah. that's yeah. where I think we have to be accountable or, you know, uh, at least aware and understanding of this. We will become much more codified than <laughs> we kind of got thrown into the wolf situation. Yeah. So, yeah. Anyway, what are we looking at? So, I, like I have that. final design plans that um, I'd like you guys to look at and possibly approve because if we can get them approved and then we can keep moving forward because the longer we wait, you know. The what is this? This is the landscape plan for the roundabout. Um, it was designed professionally. Um, so totally her, her vision is that as you drive around the roundabout, it kind of goes with you. Mm -hmm. um, we did talk to her about taking out these junipers. I feel like oh, Juniper's good. just kind of die. Yeah, yeah, I know. And I think that was uh, Patrick and I's feeling as yeah. well. Um, we, we just don't have to as planned. So these are would be kind of all the colors. They basically draw your eye up to the sculpture. Cool. So, you know, what each one will be kind of a different idea. level. Um, so I think, you know, it's hard to kind of vision, but I think it's kind of, you know, as you drive around, you kind of see see it as you drive around it. What's the grapes? Yeah. Does that mean sod? Uh, is that a concrete that or something? What, yeah, what is this? It says S -C -Q yeah. What is that? What are those? Out here? The the what, what, are the what are the gigs? What are the whirly gigs? Yeah, what are those? <laughs> the green like, or the gray or whatever that is. It says S-C-Q-T-I-F. Where does it say that? Oh, yeah. 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 What is that? The very top one. This one. Oh, yeah. I don't think it's, it's, it's grass. It's like grass. Well, where does oh, that oh. kind of grass? I don't that know. Grass? <laughs> oh, that's that would be. Well, well that knowing what the know. grass is, it's kind of hard to. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we don't know the height. It, and that is an elevation? It's, it's building up? Oh, or so is it has, has Dow okay. chimed in on this? He likes it. He does? He's good. Okay. Yep. And All do right. these the plants bloom at the same time, or do they bloom at different times? Was this attached to the agenda so these women could study this beforehand? Mm -hmm. So that you're, we're all seeing this for the first time. Yeah. Okay. I, I also suggest, you know, okay, any, I just got them. Oh, you just got it. <laughs> okay. So, well. Okay. I'm just. And who? So sorry. what do you replace junipers with? Do you have any ideas? It'll just be like a gravel. Gravel. Well, I guess. You know, Gravel? Well, yeah, I don't want gravel. So will, will, will the sculpture be, be on those, those little presses? Oh, yeah. I mean, we yeah. know they're grass, and or they're not a smooth surface. We know that, right? Um, and the elevation. Where's the elevation from the side? Do we mm -hmm. know what the you arch on this thing it is? Right. Is it a flat place of land, or is it a hill? Or is yeah. it a park? Good question. Can, Can we, we have, have a work session? Yeah. Can we like have a work session? Yeah, and combine it just it? keeps, you know, I mean. I but it, we, 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 we,
TYP, that means Don't we need the landscape, um, someone to bounce our questions off of? And, a, and an elevate, and are we just suggesting we have a working session? So or could Shannon Weber be at that meeting Beg is what you're saying? We can, we can ask her. Yeah. Right. And, and what's, what is the problem of delaying two to four weeks since it won't be planted till next spring? Well, we, no, I mean, no, I mean just. It's just delays. Oh, okay. I mean, everything just delays. Well, okay. I, I, think I think it, we definitely I think need it is the gray is at least. Yeah, yeah, a little bit of discussion actually because I'm remembering um, Dow thought the ideal centerpiece would just be uh, gravel so that there's this well, abrupt, so that, excuse me, so that there's this abrupt change from the gravel surface coming up to a rise like this to the, to the no, tall that, stanchion of the, that of the support. That is not how I understand mm -hmm. what Dow would said at all. He, he said do what you want to What's do. your guys' understanding? He um, said, I remember boulders. I don't remember. I well, that's what those something. things are in the middle. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I don't three, remember a lot. Of, well, triangle. that's the sculpture. I mean, that's that's visually on top. So, so I see the triangle of white. That's the three that's sculptures. The sculpture. I'm assuming that yes. round stuff is boulders. Yes. Right. Yes. Right. yes. Okay. And then you have the green, which is the grass. Oh yeah. And, oh. and then the red must be the the hyssop. Yeah, because you can see their landscape boulders. Right. Okay. And which is dainty. I mean, so this is not a huge presence, right? Like a hyssop is going to be a, a oh, dainty, yes. nice. It's just an added flair. I don't think it's a major bloom. design. Understand, these are perennials. Right. So yeah. lavender yeah. blooms now. Well, all my, I have a big back bed of mm -hmm. lavender. It's blooming now, and it'll only be blue green. Right. For the rest of the summer. Right. The right. magic carpet. What is that? Spirea. Spirea. How tall do those get? Not like this. 12 inches. Yeah, it's just a bush. So, 12 inches. Is this look too inches. manicured? Now, that just may be me, but don't. It does look really stylish. I mean, do we want too. it to be a very manicured garden around the sculpture that we've got? As opposed to wild grasses? Oh, so they're bushes, so they're, they're bushes. not, they're not, it doesn't look like they're going to be sculptured bushes. They're just okay. going to be bushes. Yeah. And I and we're not going to be looking at it from this angle right. unless you're coming down right. from McCaslin. So yeah. I don't think you'll really have a sense unless you're coming down McCaslin, uh, well, you know, like right now when they're all in full bloom. In which case you might say, "Oh, cool." <laughs> I think it is very reasonable, yeah. to ask Shannon, for that sort of that that yeah. profile. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because when you're driving around, it, you sort of want to see what you're going to see what, at that level mm -hmm. so when you're grass. on the patio at Brunelleschi's. Mm -hmm. You're going to want to see what you yeah. would see from a higher perspective. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I like it. Yeah, I like it. I just, I we just, I think we just want to know what the the, yeah, right. the moons are, well, and how high it goes. Because I think we are all, all we're saying like the sculpture is small, so we need kind of a big, you know, build. Up. The right. things I recall yeah. was mounding. Yeah. Yes. A two oh, yeah. add yeah. a good five. Right yes. off the ground, mm -hmm. and then I understood the a bunch of boulders mm -hmm. that actually <coughs> create mass. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then this yeah. rises above the boulders. Mm -hmm. It yeah. looks super tiny. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, look. And so, then and this and she she oh. has seen this, and it will follow that. Okay. That great. So it's about okay. six feet. It this would be interesting to know, Katie, like from this perspective. We know the boulders, and we know the big pedestals. But like, is that grasses or is that the hyssop right there? Well, the, this is Dow's. This is, this is yes. Dow's oh, final plan. Okay. This is not. Yeah. So, oh, I see. Then that. we'll okay. we'll add in our landscape plans, plan. whatever they are. But this, he wanted you guys to see what the levels so were. It's not like a big. No, I don't think any of those plants get too tall. I don't think mm -hmm. it's going to be just a just no, the not her plant. The grasses. It's just the grasses be, will get five feet tall. Yeah. Um, if you go mm -hmm. back, yeah, and then, then we have the the problem that we have with the other roundabout with is the that mustangs. The, with the mustangs, yeah. is that the that grasses get up above the Forster the grass. And, I don't know <laughs> Forster grass. Where is that going to be? Well, there's. I mean, as as we know from our park, there's grasses that are only 18 inches, and there are grasses that can be 10 feet. Yeah. So but maybe it, this one is only is like that. So, so that's why you need to meet with her because if if it's like mine in my yards, my, mine in my yard are already four feet tall. Yeah. Oh boy. And, but they're feather reed grass. Mm -hmm. um, four feet tall feather reed grass obscures your boulders. So well, it, it'll it, it, it'll obscure the the. the the hyssop, because they only get about like Well, the hyssop's this. in front of it. 
Right. Uh, so the, what they, I believe she's done well, is she ha has the shorter things in the front sure. and the taller at the center. So the grass is at the center, right? Those green patches at the center, then are the boulders. Mm -hmm. So, so the, but this is why I'm shocked it's come forth without the profile, because the profile should show you the evergreens, the junipers, mm -hmm. then the next tallest, then the next tallest, then the tallest. So the SQ, CQ tip, the grass there, that's those green, bigger green curly cues, you said was a grass. Is that going to be like a, and it's something that she needs to answer, I guess, maybe a low bluegrass or something? Yeah. Uh, I mean a Bermuda, uh, which is so so I don't have a problem with it being grass. I just need to know. Yeah. Well, there's I'm hearing all sorts of questions. Is there any way that we can ask, make a list? Does that say yes? sod or does that say I know, I thought it said sod, but it says S-O-Q. But there's a T-Y-P where the rock mulch is, so it must mean something. I, I would have to ask her. Yeah. I mean, I okay, really so cannot Okay, so we need to uh, spend it some more time reviewing this. Okay, so answers. the biggest thing is looking at Dal's final plants because he really wants to start moving on this and getting the stuff ordered for his rings and, and but you have this getting everything. That's, so this, this is the one of them. So, so but on this, um, on this landscape, yeah. is this group generally uh, liking what they see here, really to me, like what colors. this does is, I do. I do too. is yeah, I like it, it makes the landscape mm -hmm. part of the yeah. art. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like it. Sort of I like intriguing. it better than the mm -hmm. statue. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> no, no, don't do that. <laughs> no, I like it a lot. Yeah, I, like I do. I like the organic it. curve. I like it exactly Let me see better. what I can get from Shannon. The junipers yeah. are going? Or yeah, are they're, they're, they're going. I've already said no. Yeah, I would But there is a bunch of low-growing blue oriented yeah. stuff that can sub in for those genomes yeah. other than rock. Exactly. And, and I do like the low. I think um, anything over about three feet tall is going to be too tall. So I guess you could report that there's a general positive consensus yeah. and that we... Being a, a, a perennial grower price. myself, I've got Worst. a long, long deep, uh, seven, eight foot deep perennial bed and I'm doing it right now. Um, the concern would be, are the grasses tall enough that they obscure the rock? Mm -hmm. If they do, you're going to have the same issue yeah. as with the Mustangs and the, where the, they, you know, the interesting architectural elements of stone might be obscured, but this may be a shorter one. I don't know what this forester grass is. Yeah, I'm Those looking it up right now well, so we so, see how big so it gets. species of okay. grass. Certainly okay. they could find something that's less than three feet. So Katie, let's see, uh, go back to Dow's yeah, rendering. Okay, so here's one of them. showing height and that kind of stuff. The stones will be picked. Okay. I mean, yes. I mean, don't don't necessarily look at that. I think he really wanted to show you guys three different colors. Mm -hmm. He wanted to show you the basking. He wanted to show you the best he can with realizing what the material is he's using this with. It's a very organic piece. It's you know, it's it's, it's it's just it's just really hard to Get a, it depends what you find. Yeah, when you're yeah. yeah. For stones. Well, yeah, and the stone, but just even the people. You know, it, you know, it's it's such a. He's gonna build it organically, and you know, we're gonna get pictures every week, and we're gonna get, you know, updates, and um, I'm gonna probably fly out there twice and take pictures and check on it, and so. I think he he's struggling with how to get you a final. Design, you know, what it, I, it, it'll be created as it goes. Yes, yeah. yes. With knowing he has, you know, spoken with you guys, he's mm -hmm. met with you. Mm -hmm. He knows what you're looking for. What, what so do you what guys, does he need from us? What are you asking? He wants. Is this okay? okay? This. To oh. get him his next. Oh, job. I think that looks good. Can I, oh, I, I, I want to just interject a question. Is this, this is just an observation. It's back to the landscaping. I just asked to take a look because this is so organic. 
I just want to make, in my own mind's eye, sure that we don't have too formal yeah. a garden around it because yeah. it's really going to work against us if we have, you know, they're, they're beautiful, but I just want to put it out there. Do we, do we need to stay a little looser in the landscaping rather than have those very, and the bushes may in fact be much more natural looking. Uh, I just yeah. put that out there for And it's hard because mm -hmm. that's what's out there right now. I, know. I mean, that's the right. photo. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I can relay all these things to Shannon okay. and I can but I, I, talk to I her. But I think it's essential that Shannon come to this group. And so that's fine. I because can. there's no doubt what she designed was formal. Right. And uh, she can loosen it up, but we shouldn't count on that and happening. Okay. If this group wants it looser because seeing the, them juxtaposed against each other. The concern is it may be sort of Complete. black harmony or whatever. But mm -hmm. may it, because it's all bushes and then this grass, I'm guessing it's gonna look a lot less formal than the pictures of it look. Because the pictures of it look, here's a plant, here's a plant, here's a plant. Sure. But then that's not how they but grow. Shannon's a professional. She, yeah. Yeah. she having her here, she'll answer that. Okay. So Carl, Carl Forster grass go, goes from three to five feet tall and two to three feet wide. Oh, it's big. Oh, I think man. that's a reason to be concerned. Mm -hmm. Because imagine five feet of grass. Yeah, you're not going to see the stones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if the stones are an integral part of what you're, no, so you're hoping to accomplish yeah. here yeah. for that height. And it doesn't say what mm -hmm. would cause it to be five feet as opposed to three. I mean, it could mine's, be environment. I don't know. We've had 100 degree weather yeah. and mine's pretty dang tall. And your, yours <laughs> is a curl? No, mine's a uh, feather reed. But and this is feather too. Yeah, it's a Carl Forster feather reed grass. That's what well, it's called. Okay. How much color do so we it want? Might be the it? same thing. Do we want a lot of color or no color? Because right well, now in the round about this, no it's color. Just briefly purple. It's not as if it's a purple all year. No, but I mean, it's I, I mean, I love the idea of color. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, the lavender is purple, and you have the the hyssop with the set. Well, I call it a but a hummingbird plant, but it's kind of this salmon colored. Yeah, salmon. Light fluffy thing. Spirea, um, I think magic carpets. And the spirea, pinky, it's pinky. kind of pinky. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I, I mean, I, I think it looks really good. I just don't know if the, yeah, we are the group wants a lot of color. I think you're asking all well, the right the questions. Let's mm -hmm. just get her there. Ask her. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, I agree. But now, it's, uh, but okay. for Dow, I think it looks. So I need you guys. Feedback for I mean, his design. Okay. Is this out? So is this the formal final design? Yes. And you're asking for them to approve it without them having seen this on the agenda. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> well, well, maybe we could make a resolution. I feel really strongly about nothing being taller than three feet. No, yeah. I, Dow's piece. Oh, Dow's, Dow's yeah, piece. We, oh. Not, not, so we can, we can Dow's yes, piece. we can, oh, oh, we can, oh. don't worry about the landscape design. Okay. We can do All that right. a separate time. So, you're so no, I need, I need, I need so I have a comment about yes. the sculpture. Okay. Um, I was not expecting so obvious white, black, and brown. Yeah, I didn't think well, there's there silver, white. gold, and bronze. Okay, so okay. that's not going to be like painted white. No, it's silver. Okay, it's like yeah, aluminum, and then he'll that's what I was. He'll paint. It looks white. I was yeah, kind of thinking no, no, no. like different types of metal. Like yes, they're different types of metal, and okay. that is in his contract. All right, and that's just are the three types of metal. Just he just wanted black. to try and contrast them no, as best as he could. What's in the contract is paint. Yes. Because I was shocked. Because mm -hmm. I thought it was metal, mm -hmm. and when I went through that contract, noun by noun and. Adjective yeah. by adjective, it's paint. It, are, these oh, are going to be painted. It was not, not the not the aluminum, but the bronze and the gold will be paint. Oh. Um, that he does. Like, okay, it so wants. it will not be as contrasting as it'll be a little more subtle. Yes. Okay. Yeah, because I don't love. You know, like oh, look, white, got. black, and brown people. Right. right. As if we're yeah. Right. Yeah. As if we're <laughs> trying to <laughs> have a. There, it's a mess. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah. White is but way I think too white. Yeah. Is no, better. I think you're. I don't want your point to be discounted yeah. because yeah. we are in 300 days of sun. Right, and that how does really sun reflect. reflect off the aluminum? Uh -huh. Right, if the sun reflects off the aluminum too white, right? Because aluminum's aluminum. 
if it reflects off too white, uh -huh. this group could ask for it to be painted. Yeah. So that you have so three tones, mm -hmm. but they're not so. It doesn't feel so. So uh, what's the word? I don't know what the word is so for that. Um, starkly different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if everyone was at the meeting when he came and brought the rings, but yeah. they're really kind of dull gray. Yeah. We we also have an to Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I have samples in my office. Yeah, and they're more gray. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. They're, they're it's not shiny. That white bothers me a lot too. Yeah, it's it's not shiny. It's not. That's I a Photoshop. Not really yeah. way no. That's flat. Okay. Yeah. How about the roundness of the stones? I always thought those were supposed to be yeah, sort of architectural yeah. and yeah. cut. Well, a cut rate. Like, we're not talking about that, right? Those those will be picked. Not, I mean, he uh, can't put a picture of the stone right. that we're gonna. So basically, he's there. not asking about the color or the stones or the landscaping. He just wants to know the shape. Do we like the shape? Yes. I mean, yeah. He just including the pedestals or, no. or, or we're not again. Remember, he can't build you a maquette yeah. the exact way right. he's going to build it because it is such an organic piece. Right. All right. Well, I think it looks really cool, and I yeah. like actually seeing the view from the how they're wider apart than I thought they were going to be. Yeah, so you can yeah. actually see through to the other, mm -hmm. the inside of the other yeah. person. I think that is really yeah. cool. Yeah, I like yeah. this a lot better now. What mm -hmm. do you think about their uh, attitude? I don't are they the basking really enough? Are they bent back enough? Yeah. Are their yeah. faces yeah. up yeah. enough? Do they give the yeah. feeling joyous? Um, and yeah. That you imagine they would kind of feel. Or? Oh, so I the think, attitude of the piece. Yeah. Does I feel that it does. Yeah. I feel like it, it's I think that's victory. Successful. Yeah, Does victory. It, yeah. it looks yeah. like I, I think it, it seems joy and a celebration to me. Yeah. yeah. And I do like how it's wispy, you know. I like the wispy. But how does the wind yeah. blow in all three directions at once? <laughs> that's so that's the you that's the were here with for the wind burst yesterday. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, was. plenty of wind from coming from all directions yesterday. <laughs> Will the lighting ever be addressed <laughs> as if this thing evolves, or will that be presented to us? Or? That the lighting is all on us. That, all that on is us. not. That was not the lighting engineer. He will help and make recommendations, but the lighting will be on us. Really? But he will put forth how he would like yes. to yes. see like, it where lit. he. I mean, wants the pieces, oh, but okay. I he's think just not being, he's not putting, it's not in his, no, uh, it is not in his contract. That is all on the But top. he's giving mm -hmm. his artistic yes. input. Okay. Yes. Is it appropriate for you to email this to us? No, yeah, yeah. I can email them to you. Okay. But cool. So I, he's, I, is he's, he's waiting on this group to weigh in. I have to give him a final approval because yeah, I. Yeah, but you understand, I think. The board expected to see this final as well, and we don't have a meeting till July 9. Did you intend to have the board uh, weigh in? I was just yeah. told. To I wasn't that the expectation. I think from the board that the board would see the final design. I have no idea if an episode. I mean, I like this, and I would approve of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My yeah. only concern is the aluminum one looks a little white in his rendering, but yeah, I think I think we're all in agreement over that. If yeah. you could I think we're all in agreement. Yeah. Do we need to vote on it? You guys need to make a uh, recommendation okay. and vote, and it needs to be in your notes. Uh, since it needs to be in the notes, how do you feel about writing this for Well, us? you guys have to say it out loud. She's writing. I move I'm that we accept, I move that we accept Dow's rendering XYZ, whatever this is. Maybe he's probably got it labeled okay, somehow. Okay, question. How do you spell oh. his name? D-O-U-W. <laughs> D O U W E. D A L U M E E. Oh, yeah, that's just his first name. Anyway, then we accept <laughs> Dow's rendering, Dow Blumberg's rendering of this date. Second. Of the triptych. Final, has a recommended final. Has a recommended final. Has a recommended second. Yes. Yes. I. I. As a final what? It's a recommended final, final art design. For art design, yeah. Zephyr and triptych. Oh, we should probably have the name in here. There. Right. All right. Let's look, let me. We, the Caps Committee, move to accept Dow, whatever his last name is. What is it? Or? B L U M. B E R G. Mm -hmm. uh, rendering of the Zephyr. 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 Z E P H Y R. Dated. Triptych. It's on the top. Six twenty eight twenty eight. It's right along the top. Art Zephyr in. Yeah. Rendering of design. 
Two zero eight. Yeah, there you go. Zero six two eight. Okay. All right. So what I have is we, the caps committee, move to accept Dow Dow Bloomberg's rendering of the Zephyr Triptych in sight dated twenty eighteen oh six two eight. Oh, in in sight just is the label of the photo. Okay. Yeah. Dated twenty eighteen oh six twenty eight as the final. Plan. Approved design plan. The, just we vote to accept the final artwork as depicted in. Okay, so let me start good. over. No, no, well, no. Well, no, let, yeah. You can just Terry, keep it the way it is. It's fine. See, I don't take shorthand, so you guys get way beyond <laughs> where I am. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, that's exciting. All right, so we move. So. Do we have we have to vote so is this what we want to do we say did. Aye. Yeah, we did yeah we did. you were writing uh, yeah. I, 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 yeah. you didn't actually call for a vote oh <laughs> sorry <laughs> okay all right okay okay so let's move on to number four <laughs> discussion and planning on how to create a cultural arts district um, I think this is one of our priorities um, for CAPS. Um, I think it needs to uh, be done in conjunction with the master plan. I think it should be part of the master plan because of the first step in establishing a cultural arts district um, is establishing um, partners and hiring a consultant, which is exactly what we would need to do for uh, the master plan. Um, so, you know, partners, of course, would be uh, the board, um, uh, us, uh, and you know, eventually the consultant would help us get the nonprofits and the chamber and realtors and um, breaks more if you're listening um, um, and listing. Uh, um, as part of the master plan, listing the um, the benefits of establishing the cultural arts district in the first place. So, I have a question. So, yeah. how exactly are we defining a cultural arts district? How do you do it, or how? No, I mean are we're, we're, we're no, Yeah, how are we defining this? Like, what is specifically? I mean, I have a, a general idea this is a place where we have culture and arts, but do we have a specific definition of what we mean by this? When well, that's what, we're work, that's what we're going to work on. Okay. So One does actually exist, I'm sorry, to, but yeah. it does in the state of Colorado. Speaking from the event that we yeah. attended, there is a, a, we can access, if we're looking, are we, are we looking then for a, um, a definition which we would then tweak, I mean, but we know in fact what it is to actually get, you have to write a grant to get it. Yeah, so, so we need to know specifically yeah. what we're doing right. in well, order right. to so do that, it. So we're just starting those steps. Okay. So I so think one of the first steps is for us to decide where we want it to be designated. I mean, we just um, briefly threw out a, a couple of previous meetings that um, in order to uh, preserve and enhance the historic aspect of our town, our concentration should be on, not on downtown anymore, mm -hmm. on, yes. on this side. Um, but uh, coming up with, uh, you know, our own kind of overlay of what it would look like in Utopia, right? You know, linking this to downtown and then linking and then, and then linking it um, with, uh, with uh, placemakers and our street art over to Superior Marketplace um, and connecting it to our existing parks um, to, um, you know, bring a sense of culture and place back to original town, linking the history, uh, making it a destination if we had um, the grant to maybe create our own a sculpture park in um, Founders Park, um, which would bring people to Superior Marketplace. So it's it's not just 
let's decorate with art. It's actually, the intention is to bring people, bring customers, um, and, you know, and an identity. An identity, uh, perfect, a brand. yes, thank you. Uh, yeah. Right, so, uh, but the first, you know, but it says it has to be um, in partnership, obviously, with the town, um, and, uh, um, I have another question. Are we, are, are we thinking of creating a, a special taxing district or just an area that we're calling a district? Right now, we're just going to come up with our ideal area. Okay. And then once, and, and then the recommendation, of course, is to get a consultant to help you get the grants and to go forward with the policy making because okay. in conjunction with the partners that's making policy and so that the consultant would help us is there a state plan. resource that could a, a person could come to your meeting and, yeah. and address how one goes about this? gosh you would think so she spoke they were at, when, at the last day right those two the two women from the yeah. state of Colorado they yeah. were on the stage yeah and see that could be an announced mm -hmm work session where anybody who's interested can come and listen to this presentation. Yeah, that's perfect. Uh, oh, that would be cool. Yeah. She's actually the state, yeah, I forget her name, but she was for the, there was one that was for Denver, and then the other one that sat on the other, the, there was the guy in the middle, and mm -hmm. then the, I believe she was light-haired, she was the one for the whole state. So, that would be really cool yeah. if someone like yeah. that could come at a work session. Mm -hmm talk to us about it and announce it to the whole community. The whole community. So when I constantly get this, well, Louisville does this, you know, and, and Louisville had to start somewhere 20 years ago. I understand, you know, for example, ProStack always, the, the thing uh, on the rec center, that was officially hosted by ProStack. It's a public engagement session. Oh, I see what that you're saying. That was hosted okay. by ProStack. Likewise, if you attended anything while Wildflower Park was being built, ProStack hosted these public engagement sessions. So CAPS could do a so public CAPS engagement can session. Do a public engagement session with the board's approval. Right. On on this subject, establishing a culture cultural arts mm -hmm. area in what would be those boundaries right. of basically North the West whole, Superior. So of engagement. Involved. And so yeah. would these okay. consultants also be helping us with like the design and what it might include, or is it just like getting the money? Because I don't I think we could. Well, we ran across with that. Yeah. Like <laughs> Jane, <laughs> more Jane. Yeah. Well, no, Jane and I ran across at that event um, a young man who is has all these major designation degrees or whatever in urban planning and placemaking and stuff. His grandfather is Mr. Asty from Asty Park. Hey, so and, that's and, exciting. Yeah, so he, but he, so he knows the old, he grew up, went to Monarch High School, the whole nine yards. Wow. And um, his name is Tony, but he has, works with a huge firm, I think it's based out of Boston or he something. He's in Boston. That he just happened to be here because he's visiting family and he attended the placemaking seminar. But his firm, that's exactly what they do. They oh, look at every them, aspect yeah. of what you're going to do. Now, they're consultants and you have to pay them. We, um, sure, so. but we're heading into budgets. Yeah. And so if a subgroup does the work, works with Katie, Katie can you know, reach out to resources, et cetera, et cetera. We can get this in the budget for next year for whatever this consultant and I, I don't know anything about him personally. I don't. Maybe there's a resource to find. Oh, yeah, you can interview consultants and go with. Okay. I can. I can. I will be happy to contact that woman. I'll look her up in my notes, and I can also put together a very sort of a brief piece for us to answer these basic questions about what is an arts district. What are the requirements? I mean, I've written a million articles like this, so I can, I mean, it, I, it's nothing other than we'll just answer for us, if that's okay, and email it as to answer, you know, so we kind of are on the same page asking those questions, and then I would suggest we contact, and I can't think of her name, is that, but is there somebody who's in charge, would that be more appropriate for you, Claire, because you're the head of the 
Or no, who's head of the <laughs> arts district? No, so I'm doing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. that was the yeah. arts yeah. district. You yeah. master yeah. plan. Right? Yes. Right. Yes, I mean, so and those that, yeah, I can that's find your name out, and, get, mm -hmm. and wouldn't it be you that would approach her? Or yeah. No, yeah. I'd love to talk okay. to her. Okay, I'll I'll figure out her name, and meanwhile, I'll just. You know, just so we can each know these questions. Are you looking for somebody to pair with you on this? Isn't Daryl on this cultural Oh, yeah, Daryl's on yeah. it. And okay. I thought, well, it can be I three of that you. Were, well, I was doing master plan, but I, I think this is yeah. probably overlaps a lot. Well, I think it overlaps a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's a lot. Because it's yeah. part of the master plan. Well, and I can call this guy Tony. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Last name, and he just kind of just pick his brain and say, because he's not an art consultant. He is truly like more on that placemaking, urban planning. Um, that type of thing. He got so, it in a second when we were telling he, I mean, he did. When Jane and I were trying to explain this to him, he's like, oh my gosh, that would be so cool. Right by Asti Park. What about, you know, what about using Fifth Street almost as a sculpture park or an arboretum or something like that, utilizing those parcels of land in Northwest. So that subgroup has got to decide amongst them right. how they segment the work, right? So, so. Who do you do? And how would we, so are you saying that we could actually suggest that we need a consultant and name mm -hmm. this individual? And get a we pay uh, post-ac hired designers to design the park, not post-ac, post-ac uh, worked with the designers the town hired, right? And they worked with uh, park specialists, park design, uh, park design specialists, landscape specialists, whatever. They pulled the whole uh, project together. You know, looked at various different prototypes, settled on one. Did they, they, liked, did they do an so. RFP? To, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. So we'll have the to staff put puts all that together, but ProStack is the committee through which that all happened. Right. Right. So, Just as you would be the committee through which all this happened. That doesn't mean you got to go learn about mm -hmm. all this. It does mean that right. you're you're the one who seeks He's uh, support from the board to hire the appropriate consultants and then you push the project onward, mm -hmm. right? Right. And how will this tie in with the Northwest Superior sub area? I think it will well, develop. Well, well, I, this is I mean, I think, I think it's a, a beautiful blend. Well, invite the planning yeah. commission right. to so, your meeting. Yeah. Right, and, so, and that's why, yeah, I was gonna get to that, is I think it's critical to help get some of those policies in place mm -hmm. now because it, it it success actually depends on the northwest sub area like being Develop developed in the future right well so i'll ask a, a kind basic of question has this group gone through a process that in which you have settled that this should happen mm -hmm. in in original town I mean, is yes. that the consensus that, that, is group, consensus. that it, Absolutely. it should happen in original town, yeah. it shouldn't happen in the town no. center? No, mm -hmm. we have no control over the town center. Mm -hmm. okay. well, the town has well, and then the cultural, <laughs> right, so we've got the, control, the cultural component here. Where does the, where the issues such as, and that's like parking, use of, of space for the residents, I mean, that's way down line, what we're doing is talking concept. So I it's mean, all part of it. it all of you have managed projects, right? Like if this were a work project and you were assigned to put together and by one year later have this mm -hmm. done, you would go through a process, right? And you'd figure out how to do it. Okay, that's what has to happen here. But you have resources. You don't have to, you know, You've got the enthusiasm now. Let's show you up with the, the official expertise, knowledge right. on okay. this no, subject think. to move along. Okay. Do so, we need a vote on this? Or no, I don't think so. I, I, okay. I think. But so what we'll you do need to do about. is figure out by next meeting what you will have accomplished in the interim to push this project forward. Contact the contact the people and start. Well, I'm calling Tony. You're finding out the lady from the state right. of Colorado. And, and then we'll I'll start putting together the RFP. Doing tons of research yeah. and, okay. Yeah. And by next uh, week, I'll just, I'll, I'll just email this to us so we will all just have certain bullet points in our heads about what an art district is. It doesn't mean that's set in stone, but it's yeah. a place to start. So Katie, how do you see yourself? Yeah, do you, we don't want to drive you nuts with it. <laughs> do you yeah. see this largely driven by this group or, or is it what role does staff yeah, I mean, typically I think you guys play here? Wherever you guys need 
the help, I can help. But I think, yes, this will largely be driven by you guys, you know. But if there is money involved, yes, we will need to have some sort of budget to discussion because we are already working on the budget to prepare to give to the board. Okay. And when, when, now, that once the board and when, when is that due? Now. <laughs> like, okay, that's going to be a problem. So what do we do if we want to have this up and running by the fourth Thursday in July? What do, so I think you we figure out a, a, how a, much, a price. You don't have to figure yeah. out the person. You figure out a price. Yes, how much you could ask pay? Tony first like, what a typical um, yeah. yes. assessment would be or, or contract would be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. And we can get Same. three opinions and we can ask for that in the budget. budget. Yeah. And then they can steer us for an RFP. Like, what just give us a, an example of what does one look like? Mm -hmm. right. Yeah. And then what you would be asking him, like, for what would the cost be to put this together for us mm -hmm. as opposed to okay. a yeah. contract? Uh, since he grew up here, he would really understand that whole oh. Northwest well, I think superior. he would definitely be our best ally. Oh, my gosh, yeah. So, uh, Katie, what is, in terms of next month's agenda, what is the deadline for this group to make its recommendations regarding the 2019 budget? Um, you guys would probably have to make them at your next meeting. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, well, it's because that, it takes and a while to prepare. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> but it, it's on yeah. this month's okay. <laughs> This is my frustration. So, tell us what we need to do. Okay. Um, I got my job. Yeah. You, I'll get the money idea from him. Yeah, but and we'll get some contacts. It's broader than that, guys. You'll get you need to have the budget mm -hmm. proposals for everything you hope to do next year. So uh, this is typically something that takes two or three months Thursday. of discussion. Mm -hmm. So this is why agendas. And if we meet in between. Again, I don't want to step on this legal yeah, boundary, but if I if out. I talk to the placemaking um, people and they say, okay, it's going to cost us fifteen thousand, can we as a group talk back and forth to each other about this? I mean, is that okay? That's fine. I say, okay, I talk to, this is what I found out. I'll email everybody what I found out. Okay. Okay. Do you have a good? You would probably know more than any of us. That brings up a question then, because I didn't realize until today that this meeting, this group functioned the way elected bodies do. It, 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 do, it does somewhat. It, it, it somewhat so I know it. for so elected bodies, right. you can't have three people in an email chain yeah. commenting on, I mean, mm. on an issue. You can say, yeah, let's meet on Thursday at, at Starbucks. You can say that. So is that... Does that apply to us here? I, I don't believe so, but I, again, I'll have to get yeah. clarification yeah. from some of that. I have stuff. this actively in front of uh, Kendra, uh, in front of Matt, and okay. I, I will get his, uh, because I attended something, not having to do with CAPS, uh, newly elected training session, uh, because it was consortium of cities, and I did it as an eight-year trustee, and it's interesting because of how different entities do it. But understand, we're statutory, and the entity making the presentation was home rule, where they said all their own. So I've got this actively. This Don't That's you right. guys worry about it right now. Just be keeping in touch with Katie. Mm -hmm. So Katie's fully aware of all the wheels that are turning in the background, and I will, I've got a list of things I'm going to deal with Matt here. Uh, discuss with Matt. And uh, um, that will be a key one. Okay. Um, I do have a question about budget items. Um, with the uh, revitalization of Coal Creek, um, you know, we had thrown out ideas of benches, lighting, sculptures, kind of along the pathway. Is that something that we need to ask money for? Or is that go. ranch? I mean, is, is the money already set aside from that, or is this ours, Town of Superiors? The um, I suggest we put that in that discussion for next. It does not come, benches and stuff don't come out of your budget. And there is a whole plan already in place for what that corridor is going to look like. Mm -hmm. um, What's the time frame on it? Uh, well, it's currently um, the renovation or whatever it's called. 
Is, is it still in process or is it done? Yeah, I, they're done doing trees and stuff, but then yeah, it all the, it's the whole process of moving the whole creek. Right. So so um, you certainly can make an agenda. You can make a um, work plan item for 2019 to review that with the potential of comment from an art and culture perspective. So that's all been approved by mm -hmm. a couple of years ago, et cetera, et cetera. So if you wish to yeah, weigh in. Because this has been um, kind of the tricky part all along is not knowing when. Yeah, not especially knowing when the or we miss an opportunity. Exactly, yeah. so that we're always, I don't want to retrofit anything. All the time. Yes. Right. right. Now, on the master plan, I have a question, and it's a kind of teeny bit what happened to us with the sculpture. The master plan has to be done, but this arts district is huge. So, I mean, are they, you know, here's the top of the master plan, and almost the arts district gets almost bigger all of than it, that yeah. at the beginning. So, I'm just wondering, how do we, do, are, do we create the master plan concept I mean, we can't do it before the arts district. It sounds like, but do they? How do they fit together? Is one bigger than the other? Yeah, I don't. I mean, it almost seems know. like art district could we could focus almost everything on. Well, yeah. but the art year. district is a component of a master it, plan. Okay. So, so just uh, we have lots of master plans. We have a comprehensive plan for the town, right? So that's what it's called—a comprehensive plan for the town—and it has every particular area in town broken out so you take a map so original town has its part in there superior town center marketplace okay. rock creek whatever so master plan is the big deal right it's, it's the, the master plan same you're as pro stacks post master plan you're saying there already is a plan for every no, square inch you of guys put it on your there. agenda your work oh plan. this is what you're describing what we're going to do you, or you, yeah. or you so like I thought you were saying you already January had like first, 2018. So our master right. plan will have uh, downtown Superior, Prairie Dark statues. It's going to have the Arts District. It's going to have um, you know the crosswalks. It's going to have yeah. the maybe events or yeah events exactly yeah. the main mm -hmm. event. It's going to yeah. have right. Isn't that how you guys? Yeah. See then, it? Do we focus then on while this is being presented, I guess, do, then does the committee pick w one thing that we really focus on for the year, or are we all, you know, doing little things? I don't, I, I mean, maybe I'm not understanding it, but I, I just fear getting too many cooks in a broth and we really yes. don't know what we're making. I don't, yeah, I, th I think that we won't know what we're making until we have the plan. The plan, <laughs> okay. So, so really, I think really yeah, applying, like a, going through the process of applying for the cultural art district and getting some expertise on that is, ties in with the master yeah, plan and that's, what we want to see. That's probably the vast majority okay. of yeah. plans. And yeah, so just a huge. piece of the master plan. It yeah, just but there are going to be one. other things. And I, I mean... You're going to have to tie in with that Northwest Superior sub Once we so have this plan, fun. we'll have so much more direction. Exactly. Right. So, okay. I guess that's what I, I was... Yeah. 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 And like this would be the one thing to remember, the master plan is a cultural and arts and placemaking master plan for the whole four mile square of the town, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. The cultural arts district is centered right now in your imaginations, in your desires as on original town, mm -hmm. right? So that's a component of the master plan, right? Mm -hmm. So you have discussed in the past different things that would occur in different parts of town. You've discussed segmentation, for example, cultural arts, performance arts, uh, um, uh, art galleries, you know, whatever, you're better at all those elements of cultural and, uh, culture and arts, mm -hmm. and to me, a master plan delves into all those. Cultural arts, right. what is your vision for the town for the next 25 years in terms of cultural arts, right? However that master breaks plan. down, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Placemaking is a whole nother component of that master plan, right? Creating a sense of place for the town. And 
those all those elements, remember in our, when we mm -hmm. went through the vision and we you wrote that thing about what this committee will do and whatnot, we can pull that back up. And when when that subgroup, because I have done strategic plans all my life, uh, mm -hmm. so this is what I'm equating it to. This is your strategic plan for cultural, arts, placemaking in the town of Superior. Looking forward, let's say 25 years. For the whole town. When your grandmas years. and, and so 25 years is like past, one. you can you see put this <laughs> <laughs> you are your plan, Claire. 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 Some, Claire. Some of us will be off the planet. Yeah. Yeah. Claire. Yeah. Claire. Oh, Claire. We're going to be gone. gone. Yeah. 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 I hope I'm gone. <laughs> but when, when is over here with the cultural arts in, in original town? <laughs> I have a question with regard to the cultural arts district being part of original town. I like the idea. I think that's an appropriate place for it to be. But do we need to ask the people who live? <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's, that's where I was headed. Because, you know, I know some people who live over here who are a little grumpy about things. <laughs> um, and I certainly don't want to feel like we're forcing something down there. Oh, there will be and worse. I, I think it, shouldn't be right in the neighborhood, you know. Is there yeah, I like think it's between? really or? basically only two blocks of the neighborhood. I mean, if you're just walking, you know, just for our original overlay, it would just be walking from Grasso over to Founders, and then that's public space, and then making um, a pedestrian-friendly, um, maybe, you know, ways to get to the Superior Marketplace. It's just kind of a way to tie downtown Superior over to Superior Marketplace. Um, without going through the neighborhoods. I totally get what you're saying. And, yeah. and then maybe part of the policy is um, tax deductions for um, curb appeal, you know, for those few houses that are, right that are just right there, right? There will have to be a public engagement. Yes, yes. yes definitely. The, yeah, you're right. As but, the proposed plan takes shape. Yes, yes. So you're going to have to prove to the board mm -hmm. that you've engaged the residents of original town, mm -hmm. and in fact, the whole community. Mm -hmm. and we'll because there this. could be so much enthusiasm for this idea that maybe the rest of the community said, why there? We'd mm -hmm. rather have it in Rock Creek, mm -hmm. right? This is so super cool. So there's a whole public engagement component where where you do the initial thinking with the help of a consultant and whatnot, and then you float ideas by okay. groups mm -hmm. of people. And you always invite everybody. You know, mm -hmm. you don't. Well, no, that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, it would be really cool if people in Rock Creek are thinking in terms of original town and an arts district and that type of thing, going, whoa, we're kind of doing something that is forward thinking with a vision that could be Louisville like it was 20 years ago mm -hmm. or whatever. We'll never be there because we're not so big, but better. Better? Yep. <laughs> and that's where someone like we're using Tony as an example would be able to help take our vision of okay we have a little piece of old superior he would be able to give us that guidance as you're saying to make it be appropriately you know uh, pedestrian friendly to get to marketplace or even and even i love that area in the superior marketplace where the preschool is yeah um you know where the statue and the sculpture is it's so cute and it's i bet nobody even knows see i bet nobody even knows it's there yeah. oh well, here's the superior school it's a little plaza superior, there yeah, yeah. the it's superior adorable. learning academy is here there's a delightful little plaza right here and then you have i think it's real kids or something mm -hmm. oh i know so, that, yeah so here's founders park and then you have these really mm -hmm. cool businesses that are now becoming child oriented you have the music school you have superior learning academy you have real kids you have um kuman tutoring so they're right there along founders okay, park gotcha. and there's this plaza but if you could bring people in to that plaza and somehow design and take a chunk out of superior marketplace with obviously their approval and stuff you really would make that kind of a thriving yeah mm -hmm. the adults would uh, you know where you could have your yeah. What we lack is a, you know, clearly yes. coming to fruition over mm -hmm. there. Did, so, um, you know. 
Did anybody notice that there was a very long thread recently on the 0027 Facebook page? Um, a, a woman asked, like, oh, I'm an entrepreneur. I oh, want to start so a business. What does everybody want? What? There were, like, 400 comments. Oh, my what gosh. Was, I missed that. Oh, yes, it was you. We need to get a transcript of it. it? Can you oh, I don't know. I want to get stuff again, pulled on you, Facebook. What but, was it the same now? Um, um, okay, so it was a woman, and he's, she's an entrepreneur, and she yeah. said, oh, I wanna, I'm going to start a business superior. What is every, what, is, what are we missing in the 027? Yeah. Maybe it wasn't just Superior, maybe it was in the 027. Blue Cell, yeah. And there were, it, there was a ton of people replied, like, oh, we need that. There was a lot of restaurants that people wanted. But basically, and then there was a big consensus, like, we want a place that's fun to hang out where our kids can play and we can all talk and eat, you know? And I've kind of like found- Like Lucky Pie. Yeah, like that, <laughs> yes. Kind right. of like that, you know? And, and my husband was like, isn't that the mall? But people don't really want to go to the mall. You know, they want like an outdoor, yeah, place like that. The, oh, there must, there, yeah. there literally must have been probably it was at, at least three, yeah, yeah, 300, 400. That is a great whole So I thought that was a really good resource. Why don't you send me that? Are you only just seven I obviously. But I was like, oh, that's you know. Yeah. You know, another interesting fact is just in PetSmart's backyard, uh, that just opened a young couple opened a Japanese. It's a sushi M and, soup and ramen. Yeah, Mikasa. yeah. and oh, it's oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I went in, and I mean, it's got funky, great, you know, their Japanese has got beautiful Japanese banners and stuff, and I thought, isn't that interesting? You know, that's a risk to put a restaurant like that behind, you have to know it's there. It was where Wendy's was. But something Arby's. like that. No, Arby's. 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 Yeah, so, so much mm -hmm. more of an invitation. It, it was in an area where they had outdoor restaurants and everybody knew and that was yeah. tied into yeah. right. that so whole plaza just, where the sculpture well, was. Well, so right. Daryl and I yeah. talked about it. You know, uh, you know, well, we laughed about having the groundhogs, just right as the leaders on the street. You know, so we followed the groundhogs. You know, through original town, Very and as you start, you're like, oh, this is a historic building because whatever, mm -hmm. and it leads you to Asti. Mm -hmm. That's your first stop, mm -hmm. and then Asti, the groundhogs would keep going with the sign saying, "Ramen this way," you know, <laughs> like restaurants so this way, cute. and then you have the groundhogs walk, you know, walking just two blocks further down, and that's sculpture garden this way right so you've got the history at asti and then you've got i'm hot it's 105 degrees outside let's go over to the, the mar you know whole foods mm -hmm. or whatever and then or no i can keep going and then you go two more blocks down to the to um founders and the sculpture park and the kids are playing and yeah, you know, it's just ah, it's just so awesome. Yeah, just yeah. Like they could be holding yes. little signs. Yeah, like the prairie dogs and, and with their little signs. They, well, and I and I also yeah. understand. Yeah. This is I have a nephew who's staying with me for the summer from Columbia, and um, he's taking my electric bike and driving all over. So I picked right up here uh, a map of the trails or whatever in Superior, and then going into Louisville. So I'm looking on this, and here's my neighborhood right over here. And we've had a huge thing in our neighborhood going on between how do you get down Charles in our neighborhood because someone put Bob Wire, a long story on this, but it's actually supposedly a path. So if you went from, again, from Grasso down Charles and came up Fifth, which is now just dirt and grass, but that could be like your Arboretum like they have in Louisville, or that could be a skate park or mm -hmm. a sculpture park or whatever brings you into Founders Park to Asti, mm -hmm. and you could just do a lot of really kind of cool stuff, yes. navigating people with things that they can see and hang out. Yeah. And exactly. So we're really helping, hoping in Rock Creek that there's <laughs> going to be like, um, you know, a level easy bike path to get down to downtown Superior. Because I could totally see families, mm -hmm. you know, bringing kids down, hanging out in downtown, mm -hmm. um, coming down through here and hanging out for the whole Saturday. Yeah. You know, if there's things know. going on. Yeah. Um, we have hope. And it just, you know, take, bringing out, <laughs> going on their bikes and just hanging out downtown. So, there okay. you go. That's, All right. That's still an yeah. alive possibility. Mm -hmm. yeah, that yeah. would be oh, great. Yeah, it, there is. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, during the, the PD process, plan development process at Town Center, uh, uh, the, the debate is, and still is alive on what to do on Cold Creek Drive as it intersects with uh, the town center there. Uh, whether or not you dead end it like it is now, mm -hmm. or whether as it was supposed to be, and you know, it's a nice wide boulevard, it actually goes through the town center, mm -hmm. right? And, and so that 
that would, would give you bike access, et cetera, et cetera. And um, um, so anyway, uh, if any of you attended the Anderson uh, property um, public engagement last month or whenever it was, um, you know, a proposal was put through on that about how to um, handle Coal Creek. It has not interestingly come to the board yet, so I'm not, not uh, I try not to go to those because if you're influenced when you go, you can't vote when it comes to the board. <laughs> you, so it's, I didn't, I wait till this all comes to me at the board level. Um, so it's gonna be interesting to see what those look like and where the con connectivity mm -hmm. is, but that's an ongoing uh, discussion. And it's very much an, a, a, a live issue, whether or not to continue roads through with bike right-of-ways, et cetera, or not, and then do paths, eight-foot paved paths for bikes, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. You know, that's still very open. But even if they don't do designated bikeways, um, even though Coal Creek is four lanes, and I can extend the four lanes, right? And so it's not going to be a cut through from Marshall. I think that was the biggest scare. So even if, so, even if you're meandering through those cute little new neighborhoods, yeah, I think I think people were afraid that um, people would want to bypass McCaslin and take Marshall through, cut through to Coal Creek. And I said, and then the planner said, no, there's going to be so many cul-de-sacs through the Anderson that there's no oh, way it would okay. be an yeah, efficient. You may know more than I know. That it wouldn't it wouldn't be an efficient cut through, right? So even if there wasn't a designated bike path, I think it's gonna be a um, it all has a come quiet to the cul de sac, this, you know, way for you to a bike public down. engagement session and yeah. come to the board for mm -hmm. thorough uh, discussion. These public engagement sessions are to get community input from whoever wants to attend, but specifically the impacted nearby residents. Oh, oh no, this came to light when they were talking about um, 88. Okay. They talked about people were concerned about the cut through, and then the developer said, no, yeah, but the way Anderson is going to be finagled okay. is going to You mean Zaharias or Anderson? No, yeah. Anderson. Anderson. Yeah, okay. so that Anderson. people won't easily anyway. use it as a cut through. Yeah. We think it'd be good. Down okay, down. we are running out of time, yes. and sure we want to discuss the, yes. Okay. Okay. Um, Anderson there. Thank you, Katie and Daryl. They mean basically did everything to put yeah. all this together. Yeah. So um, very cool. I think that it's pretty much all set in place. Don't you? For Wednesday I, morning? Where is this? What is this? What okay. This thing right over there. Oh, okay. okay. You can pass this around. This is the design for the mural that is going um, under 36. And it has been enlarged to an actual size of 20 by 8 feet. This is just part of it. And what we are going to do on Sunday is to paint 40 squares. Prime. And I have them all cut, but you don't. You don't need to paint them. I just you don't think them. we'll need 40? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. But I, I have like a hun the all 160. Oh, you, you did all 160. Okay, because yeah, the, the final project will have 160 squares. And each person who participates starting on Wednesday morning, and anybody who would love to come and help, we have two tents, as you know, two tables. The more hands, the better. If you, I'm there. Okay, if you yeah, envision. We could, we'll be there at 8.30. And how, how long are we planning um, to have it? We thought 10.30. Okay. Kind of quiets down after 10.30, don't you think? Yeah, I mean, I would... Do it till 11? Maybe till 11. It's going to be hot, so... It is supposed to be really hot. Okay, yeah, so people will probably start clearing out around 11 or so. Oh, I might be able to come okay. I really like this design. Um, there was... Uh, last I remember, there was like a... Well, what something. happened... What How happened did that is, turn out? Okay, what happened was, which we didn't realize, again, one of those things were behind the eight ball, is that if we were going to pay this mural artist, we were, you know, Daryl said to pick one of three, right, which we all did. Mm -hmm. But then what we realized is that we had to pay this mural artist the $1,200 and that approval had not gone through the board or whatever. So we didn't really have a way to pay for to do this. Next time we'll know. But you also have to make those decisions in a publicly exactly. noticed meeting. Mm -hmm. which, right. Yeah. You know, choosing them. So again, back to that, we really are not particularly, uh, knowledgeable on this whole process. But um, Daryl actually did this design oh, wow. at no cost the whole nine yards. Oh, cool. So we're just using Daryl's design. It's been blown up. These squares will 
be done. So if one of the kids- I'm gonna do this all green one. <laughs> <laughs> so one, these, will be, these will be cut, and then um, this person from Superior will have this square, for instance, and then they'll have this square, just like Katie's friend did it. Are so, they like numbered on the back uh -huh, or something? They'll be numbered so on the back, so they'll be coordinated. And we're only doing 40, so it. we're not doing the whole thing on Wednesday morning. What's your address? Um, it's 115 6th Avenue. So, anyway, so we're going to prime and number them on Sunday. And which underpass is this? It is behind the Urgent there. Care. But this go, go on Cole Creek. Right, on the not bike path. Creek, but bike going path. forward <coughs> with the murals, we are not, we're going to approach it from a... Exactly, we're going to approach it really from, from a public artist. art Yeah, perspective. this is a great sort of a... I would say almost a branding piece, right? right. Just it's a, a tester. It's, yeah, a tester. Uh, she's she's tester. at 8.30, but this will not be at her house. Oh, on I Sunday thought, afternoon, if oh, you have Sunday at what time on Sunday? I got everything for you. Okay, I'm, I'm totally flexible. I just hadn't heard it, if Katie had everything so we could do it Sunday, so. Um, I would say after lunch. Yeah. We'll right. just do it in the garage. Uh, okay. So what was it that was going on at 8 one? That's on the 4th. On the 4th of July. That's why I was surprised you said you're working. On, on the 4th okay. of July, be at Community Park at 8.30. I'll send another email. Yeah. Wear grubby clothes and um, as many hands as, because we don't really know what it's going to feel like. Maybe your friend does. I'm guessing that if you have a 10-year-old who's doing this, they're going to need a, almost one-on-one -on -one guidance. Yeah. So we can, and we'll have to be explaining it as we go. I think the parents will go. be with them, though. I hope so. And I the mean, instructions are there. And we're doing instructions, by the way. Okay. Yeah. So but what about if oh, yeah, that's what's sitting on Sunday? We're, we're, we're painting and priming and numbering 40 of the squares. So those 40 okay. squares are what we're bringing on Wednesday morning to have the people paint them. And, and that's we're going to meet at your house at about yeah. what time? Mm -hmm. so how about if we just do it once? One at one o'clock on Sunday, Sunday to paint them all. Correct. So when the, when the first four years is back done, done that's yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. And then we'll yeah. do it again at Chili Fest. The other thought, and I mentioned this email, um, there is a team at the sports table who wants to have well, it. Did you? Did you get that from my email? Right. To sports camp, or the, the sports, not the sports camp, the day camp. Right. Really would like to participate. And Superior Learning Academy would love to be, they were saying, again, trying and trying businesses. Mm -hmm. They said, well, we have all this space to do this. Michael said the same thing. I, I already asked them, and they're like, oh yeah, they have that big craft room in the front. Mm -hmm. What if you posted it that on August 15th, come over to Michael's and we're gonna paint, you know, whatever, so trying to really tie in, not just do it at, So, are you okay with that? Can we, not do can it we just do that as, as our little subgroup thing? Can we go can ahead we and set schedule these times? Do we have to put that forward? Uh, just work with me with the sports table because I've been in contact okay. with Danielle. And then the, we can set well, up. Manuel Sterile. Yeah. All of this has to go be in your minutes. Okay. Your minutes go to the board. The board gets notified via this, right? So this okay. has to be detailed that the mural, you know. We're having a painting at Michael's on Saturday from 10 to 12. Here are the they dates, have to know that? Et cetera. Well, it's very nice, never to surprise the board. Okay. <laughs> well, again, and I, and I usually the board was a little stuff. surprised by this notification of this meeting, uh, uh, you know, that you're, you referenced on the, uh, with, we asked for a community meeting on the uh, proposed high school but uh, oh, I was some thinking. board members oh, no, we were, were supposed to ask for a meeting on the mural. We're, we're, we're <laughs> surprised that it was like tomorrow. Oh, right. okay. Yeah, that's anyway, what everybody was uh, surprised. Okay. Uh, but uh, um, so you're saying it's okay. Why more strategy never surprise the board? Is mm -hmm. Because I kind of got the feeling that maybe we, you know, Katie or whatever didn't want a lot of communication. But if you're okay with communication, I'm a huge believer in that. <laughs> All right. I said that. I just. So you could just delete it. Oh my gosh, I'll just like put all those in a folder or something. Could okay. we then just say uh, that, okay, we were, we're going to do the 4th of July. After the 4th of July, Debbie and I will arrange throughout the summer three different events. I mean, that's painting. And, and a lot of times it's all the stuff in the digest. The, yeah. board, gets a, the board gets a notice every th um, Thursday or Friday. Okay. And if there's stuff going that on, we're painting we will usually throw wherever. things in the digest. We if we had a community center with an art room, we could do it there. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could put that in parentheses. <laughs> put, yeah, put it on all the places. Okay, um, I think, but I think we're organized, don't you? I think we're good. Yeah, just yeah. meet me outside now. Okay, pass yeah. everything yes. off. And then you can just. You have tons of paintbrushes, right? About yeah, I mean yeah. 
Okay. <laughs> okay. And then um, that for, was that was Daryl's warning. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I haven't gotten the paint and the paint brushes for that yet. For this. No, because I need to take that to um, Instaprint store and like have them figure out the colors. There's a lot of colors in there that I gotta get. How are we oh. mounting this? It's on plywood. And then they're doing a frame. Not that though. You're cutting that. We're cutting this. Right, but so to show. Oh, we, the frame's not built yet. We we needed to wait for that. I mean, so when they show up, you may have answered this. I'm sorry. But we're going to do an example square. Okay. And, and put it on. You know how they have those things for picture displays. That this is kind of what you want to aim for. But how big is the whole? Oh, it's seat? 20 by 8 feet. I mean, I mean, not the finished product, like. To show these kids, you're doing this square, but it's going on this. So it's, no, it's going on the same size square. It, it, this clear head, they're going to the get, get this. Whole. That's all. Okay. They're gonna oh, get. this is all they're going to get. That's what I was saying. So this is whole. their only vision of what the, the completed project looks like. Okay, that's what I was trying. Um, to. I mean, the kid or the person? Yeah, the person who's painting is going to show up at our booth and say, "You're going to paint this square because eventually it's going to go into this." Uh -huh. and so this is all they're going to have. Yeah. Right. Is this? I think Daryl's thought example. about doing a three by six banner that looked like this. Yeah, I thought the. Oh, the I don't know. She didn't tell me. She was going to check the I price. I think that would be a little yeah. nice. <laughs> it would be really nice. To no, she, she yeah. was going to check the price. So okay. we can see so what the expensive. people... I'm going to write that down so I don't... Because she was going to do a, a banner there. Okay, smaller. I thought, yes. Yeah, yeah. So I thought you but said... check how much it was. Have a, I thought we, you said... She did. Daryl said we, she was going to look into doing an actual so, banner okay. that was three by six feet or whatever. Hanging it in front of our booth. Yeah, yeah. I know that's great. So, that is, so you can actually see... Yeah. Um, okay, so we only have a few more minutes here. So um, I think so. We're doing community uh, or committee member updates, but I think this is one of the updates. And um, do, you, do you have anything? Sure. Um, sure. So I have been in contact with Karen. She's um, out of town right now, but we um, have a plan to meet. And really, our first step is I think research. Um, we're planning on reading over before we meet reading over the Louisville master plan since we have neither of us have ever written anything like this to just to familiarize with the structure and what's in it um, I may also try to talk to some people on the cultural arts committee in Louisville um, so that we can kind of get our bearings and and figure out you know the structure but I agree I mean it's, it's the kind of thing that will be in probably involving everybody in a lot of communication with every single other person you know on the committee and that the biggest thing in the plan will probably be the arts district, like we said. So, so I'll be on that group too because I kind of feel like it's oh, okay. The same thing. Yeah, so let me it know when you guys. Yeah, kind of encompasses everything, but I think it's something. Yeah, so that everybody will really be working on. But Karen and I will just physically write. Yeah, great. Uh, okay, uh, artist registry, Marcia. Do we have any progress? Uh, I am having trouble downloading the program um, that Daryl recommended to me in, a, in an email. So I think I need a little technical help. Is there, is that new person available at all for technical help? Karen Snortland? Yeah. Um, I can ask her. I, I don't like, know. If, I mean, she's not like an IT person. I mean. Does she have regular office hours yeah, here or something? Uh, she's in our office at Sports Stable. Um, I can, why don't I just introduce you guys via email? And okay, okay. You know, Bob McCool might be able to do that in about five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Truly, Daryl I mean, and Bob might be a better, be a better resource. Yeah. To say, I can't figure out how to do this. Can you show it can to you, me? Can uh, you just take your computer over to Daryl's? Yeah. To Daryl's, yeah. She yeah. Can. Are you a Mac or well, PC? Uh, Mac. Yeah, well, That's she Daryl's, Daryl's not here. <laughs> no, she's here. She's here. She's just. Oh. She's, at, gone she, she's at the Eagles concert or some yeah. such thing. Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh, I thought she she's was leaving soon. Soon. Yeah, she's leaving soon. Oh, okay. Um, could you <laughs> note and let Patrick Hammer know a couple things? First of all, he did a wonderful job sprucing up the bump outs on Cold Creek. They look much nicer. So thank him on that. And I like the purple flowers by Purple Park. You understand that was one of the I first know. things this group did. I, I like those. Them. I, I, like go those there. Purple, I like those purple flowers on Purple Park. Are they the purple iris that used to be there? There's a whole different oh, shades of purple and lavender and everything. It's really nice okay, to get into the park. Park. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I I did send an email out to my neighborhood. There was a woman who posted on the CAC, by the way, that. 
can't believe Wildflower Park. It's just really ugly. It has all this blah, blah, blah. So I actually posted that well, it is my understanding <laughs> that the reason that there are no more poppies is because someone in that neighborhood complained that when they went out of season that it looked too rough. Really? Yes. Everybody loved those. That's well, awesome. yes, but someone complained, and so they had to go back. It, that is my understanding. I could be wrong. The um, so. The true reason is wildflowers are a new initiative for us, mm -hmm. and they're a science unto themselves, mm -hmm. and we're on a learning curve, mm -hmm. right? And uh, so those hillsides were mowed last year, and <laughs> someone seems to think that that then encouraged all of uh, this sweet clover this year. Uh, guess what? It was reseeded when it was. Mm -hmm. it, uh, I do perennials. And uh, I cut all mine back once they die, et cetera, et cetera. And I don't have sweet clover in my house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, but so just learning curve, we will get it under control. And it will be beautiful. And it yeah. will be but I do beautiful like the again, flowers. but certain improvements. Okay. The, the thing about wildflower part that I stress to everybody who listen to me is that is a living work of art, right? Mm -hmm. Just as our flower beds are, right? They really are living pieces of art. And uh, so that's why the suggestion was made last year that if people were interested, they actually pay attention to the flower beds and, and comment on them, et cetera, et cetera. Um, likewise, I'm right there at Wildflower Park. When I came back from my son's wedding, I expected to see all shades mm -hmm. of orange and pink and fuchsia and red and whatnot. And I'm like, what's well, this yellow? So I've <laughs> been very much in contact with Matt and Patrick and whatnot saying what the heck happened. So there's a whole working, science to this. They were they're working with Colorado State University mm -hmm. Extension oh, great. experts in wildfires to put together mm -hmm. a management plan. What? Sounds should, like it sounds we, like our park. We paid them yeah. to come up for our should, park. Should we be um, should we be watering wildflowers? They're not w w watered in the mountains, but we water these. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so we're learning. We're on a learning well, curve. Well, your and perennial be park beautiful. next to Purple looks really nice too. The what? You have your perennial park right next to Purple Park. Here's here's, here's park. Waterford. Here's the the purple down the center. Then over here, there's that perennial park. It has some of the I call them firecrackers, but it has daisies. Um, it's coming up nicely. Okay, good. Well, along, I was talking about my own backyard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, but uh, I'm going to uh, have to drive around. These are all yeah. nice surprises mm -hmm. to hear about. Uh, okay, is that the end of the committee? And then just the crosswalk painting? I got, um, I ordered the stencils. stencils so we just got to. Did we do eyelashes or no eyelashes? I did one. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be so cute. I yeah, can choose. We so we just got to get Alex to order. We just got to order the paint and uh, find a time. But I think it would be wise to have a date attached to this because the board asked about they that. They did ask about that. And, and we were not uh, able to get to Let's have a date by which this will happen. So yes. When started. does school start? August 17th. For Boulder Valley, I believe. No. No, it's really staggered. 15, 16th, and 17th. Yeah. It's staggered. Yeah. For different grades. Oh, so, so August fifteenth is so the first day. I believe so. So maybe if we could do these by the first week of August. It sounds yeah, like mm -hmm. it's easily done. You guys just pick a date. I'm good. I'll be in town. Um, do we want to do it on Saturday? Let me know and I can. Yeah. Oh yes. Yeah, no. Shouldn't um. We'll isn't staff going to tell us the best? Day to set up cones and do it. I'm I guess it's the weekend. I mean, yes. Yeah, do we do it on a weekend or a weekday? I don't. It doesn't matter to me, but. I don't think it really matters. We just need their help. Yeah. yeah. So help. you guys just tell me a date and I will. Okay, okay but it doesn't well, matter. The first like of August is a, days days let is a Wednesday. Uh, so if we did it like maybe the 4th or 5th, if we try to do a weekend, that's a full week and a half before school starts. Because if it rains, we want to have a backup date. So you're talking about doing it that weekend or the weekend before? The 4th or 5th. I mean, we could have a backup with the 11th or 12th. Sounds like a plan. All right, we'll have um, Daryl I'll, I'll, I'll send I'll around to ask the staff if they're available, and no. then we'll work. Where is this go? 
Yeah, do I think it? that's just a piece? I, I don't think that Who that's... Who has the rest of the 40 pieces? It's not printed out yet. This was just an example, I think. I think it was just here. a practice. Oh, this was yeah. a practice. Yeah. Okay. So we will... Can I roll these? this up and take it with me? Yeah, take it with you. You'll have to... Uh, and, and who's cutting it? I mean, I can cut it. I just yeah, didn't know yeah, what the I printer... Just, like, just make sure that they're in the order. Like, right. We keep real strict control on the order. Absolutely. Because that would look silly. Um, <laughs> Let's do it. I'm okay. leaving that all up to you guys. I got the wood cut. Well, I'm wondering <laughs> if Nancy Prince, who I think is doing the banner, you know how they sometimes have printing places have those great big paper cutters? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. They okay. can, I'll ask Daryl. Can you could do it over at, at um, Kinko's. Kinko's, she likes yeah. To help. Nancy's in the chamber. And she's where? Uh, at the UPS store. They do oh. all kinds of stuff. Because I, I know the printers have big paper cutters. Mm -hmm. So it would she be better and design. cleaner looking probably than us just me just taking my scissors and going like this. So mm -hmm. since we're manning this, <laughs> are these the, you know, these are what people are going to be painting. Is mm -hmm. that right? Mm -hmm. Yep. The cut like that, like the, and we're, they will be numbered from what, you know, like left to right? Mm -hmm. Are we going to them? <laughs> okay. Okay. Like, well, Daryl will be there on Sunday. She will. Oh, okay. I didn't realize that. So yeah, she'll be there on Sunday. Between now and then, we need to get the stuff and we'll set it up on Sunday morning. Okay. 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 Is that the end of the meeting? Yeah. Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. <laughs> that would I second. Motion to adjourn. <laughs> 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 <laughs>